Hi everyone, in this video I will explain what is forward propagation in the neural network context with the help of a Python implementation. In all type of neural networks architecture there is some kind of propagation of information from some kind of input to some kind of output. This is what forward propagation is. We can also think of it as the prediction step where input comes in, activate neuron in series to generate an output. A neural network is composed of a few simple components. We have the input neurons, which hold the value of the feature coming in. We have at the other end of the network, the output neurons, which output whatever we need depending on the type of task we're doing. In between, we have neurons that are modeling the learning task. Each layer is stitched to the other with weights, depending on the architecture, we'll have different set of connections. Each neuron has what is called an activation function, which will dictate how it behaves given the input it receives. And that's all we need in most neural network. Forward propagation is the movement of information from the input to the output of the neural network. At a high level, this is how the information flow. Values are changed in the input neuron, which are visible to the outside world. In the case of a fully connected feedforward neural network, each of the input is sent out to each neuron in the first hidden layer. These input hit the neuron by going through a metaphorical connection which has a weight associated to it. That weight roughly dictates how much the neuron should listen to this particular input. Then each neuron in the first hidden layer do a dot product of the weight and the input they receive. This basically means they do a weighted sum of the input. This total is then fed into an activation function, which is a non-linearity that helps in the modeling of the learning task. One such activation function is the sigmoid function. Each neuron then output the result of their activation function to the subsequent layer which goes through another metaphorical connection with the weight associated to it. This flow of information repeats until it hit the last layer, the output layer. In the output neuron, the activation function is usually different from the rest of the network. The activation function here will depend on the kind of output we are expecting from the task. If it's a binary classification task, with one neuron, we do a weighted sum that goes through a sigmoid. We then could output 1 if the activation is greater than 0 0.5 and 0 otherwise. This flow of information changes depending on the architecture we choose, but the general ideas stay the same. Let's now look at what forward propagation look like in Python. The notebook is available on my GitHub repository, um, linked in the description. So to simplify the code here, we will look at a multi-layer perceptron with only one hidden layer. And um, there's no training over here, it's just the predict thing. So um, over here we have the perceptron, right? We're using random and math over here to um, do the job. Uh, if you want to know more about uh, how the perceptron is working, you can look at my previous video. So uh, let's quickly go through it. We have um, the weights, we have each uh, neuron output over here. We're using the sigmoid activation function and this thing is used for um, the training which we're not doing. Here we're gonna initiate uh, the weight randomly, right? When we uh, create um, the neuron when we're doing the training. And over here, this is where the prediction is happening for each neuron. So we um, get one weight here, which is the bias. And for each weight over here, we're doing uh, a weighted sum. So it's simple as this. We do weight times feature plus the previous activation. We just sum all of this up. And then we take the total of this activation and we put it into the sigmoid over here, which is this thing. This is the sigmoid function. And this is what we're outputting. So if we, we put all of this together, we want to have an input layer, a hidden layer, and an output layer. Um, the input layer is not really existing for real. Um, this is why I was kept uh, I kept saying metaphorical in uh, the previous section. Um, so we we actually just have a hidden layer, an output layer with one neuron in this case. So here, in the init in the constructor of the uh, multi-layer perceptron, we're setting up all of our mini perceptron into an array, right? So we are saying how many neurons we, we want to have and then we're creating the perceptron that we put into self.perceptrons and over here the output will also be a perceptron because we're using the sigmoid function 
and uh, those are just for training which we're not doing and this is how the forward propagation uh, look like so we have a row of input this is kind of our input layer right and then what we're doing is uh, we're gathering all the activation for the hidden layer and how we do that we give the row right we iterate through all the perceptron and then we do predict on the row so what this is actually doing is it's uh, activating it's giving the input right to all of the neuron so basically what we we have here is a fully connected feed forward neural network for auto architect architecture this part will look a bit more complicated then we have all of these activations right and because we have only one output what happened is that we're going to give all of this activation which is kind of a uh, multiple uh, it's like a one row of input right and we're giving this to our output around over here and doing we're doing self dot output that predict with this row and this give us one activation right and over here this is where um, we have the binary classification uh, tasks coming in because if we want to have one or zero if the activation of the sigmoid over here is greater than 0 0.5 we return 1.0 otherwise we're gonna just return 0, 0.0 so it looked like this it's super simple in the case of a fully connected feed forward neural network if we have more um, layer what will happen is over here we will do these paths multiple time that's it for the forward propagation algorithm if you followed the video until the end you have now a good understanding about how it works I hope this video was useful if you want to see more machine learning video like this, you can subscribe to this channel. In the next video, we will look at how to train neural network using an important algorithm called backpropagation. And uh, that's it for now. Have a good week.